James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 14th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had one of the most active days on our sun that I personally remember. Everyone knows that we had an X flare yesterday, an X 1.2 solar flare. Well, today we've had four very strong solar flares. And we're going to go over all four of them. We're going to start with the strongest, an X 2.7 solar flare that was generated at a region 4087, now a Delta class sunspot region. Now, all four of today's solar flares were generated from sunspot group AR 4087. The big flare of the day caused an R3 radio blackout, and it was an X 2.7 flare observed at 8.25 UTC time, or about 1.25 last night central time, again from region 4087. This region has recently become very active, producing several other flares, including an M5.3 solar flare, at 325 UTC time, really about 825 Central Time last night. Now we're going to go over all the flares today, and there was a fifth, but it's an honorable mention. Now I don't remember one sunspot producing so much havoc over 48 hours ever. As we remember yesterday, we had an X 1.2 solar flare here. And that was at about 1600 UTC time. So that's going to be about 11 a.m. in the morning, central time. Then we started the day off today on the 14th with an M5.61 solar flare that peaked around 3.27 UTC time. So really about 8.30 last night, we were getting pounded central time here in the U.S. by that same sunspot with a big M flare, that M5.61. That was followed by a small M1.2. Now that's our honorable mention for the day. But as soon as that occurred, we had a large X flare, the X flare that we just looked at, the X 2.7 solar flare that peaked at around 8.19 UTC time or about 1.19 central time in the middle of the night last night. Now that was followed up by an M 7.5 solar flare peaking at around 11.20 UTC time, or this morning at about 5.20 Central Time. There was a slight lull, and we've just been hit by an M4.6, and that peaked at around 1800 UTC time. And the day is not over yet, so we've had... Well, two X flares in the last 48 hours, and that's accompanied just today by four M class solar flares. Unbelievable. Now, we do not have any information on whether CMEs were lifted or if they're going to be geoeffective towards Earth, but the chances are very good. I will show you where the sunspot is in just a moment. You can see that sunspot 4087 delta class being read here generated all of the M flares and X flares that we've seen today. The four M flares and the one X flare. Today's maximum, the 72 hour, uh, hour maximum, and the largest flare we've seen since March, an X 2.7 solar flare. Now, SpaceWeatherLive.com is missing the first flare of the day, the M5.61, 
that NASA mentioned, and it would go in right about here. That was followed up by the M 1.2, followed by the X 2.7, followed by the M 7.5, and since then we've had an additional event that's not recorded here as well, an M 4.6 solar flare. Wow. We're back to a C baseline, believe it or not. We only had a 30% chance of having an X-class solar flare today, a 75% chance of having an M-class solar flare, and only an 85% chance of having a C-class solar flare? Those numbers just don't equate. I want y'all to see, just as, well, we turned from yesterday to today, UTC time here, being 24 hundred this was still a simple simple sunspot green it wasn't even beta gamma orange it went from green to a delta sunspot in moments over to hmi and tensogram well we only have five earth-facing sunspots and i would argue that 4086 is no longer earth-facing Everything that we see is coming from 4087. This was taken last night, so 4087 has moved more to this area here. And there's a very good chance that one, if not several of these solar flares, will create a CME that will be geoeffective towards Earth. Now, there were definitely a lot of coronal mass ejections lifted off our star today. You can see them going in just about every direction. We don't really know, but these do look like halo eruptions that very well could be geo-effective towards Earth. And there are numerous eruptions on our star. Headed from Lasco C3 to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. We're seeing the latest flare here at 1800, the M4.6 pop off. If that's an M4.6, imagine what the X flare looked like. Look at this dark filament that wraps its way around in the back of the sun here. The sun is going nuts. We also have a huge coronal hole that's about to be Earth facing that will be pushing solar winds at Earth. Very, very soon, I would say within 48 hours, those will start to be pushed towards Earth. We should see them arrive within 72 hours at the latest. I don't see this sunspot group letting up at all, and there's several other sunspot groups that are very complex coming around the limb here. All right, we get to see the last two impacts on our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We had the x-rays hit at 1120. That's going to be our M7.5 solar flare. And we had a moment to think about it. And we got hit again at what time looks like. 1800, 1811 UTC time. That's going to be the m 4.6 solar flare now we do have four more hours five more hours of may 14th 2025 utc wise and we very well might have additional flares inbound the good news is here even after all those flares we lost our polar cap absorption event which means they weren't as Earth-directed as that X-flare was yesterday. So we're not having the protons ionize on the North and South Pole, and we're not, well, sizzling too bad, right? But we're getting plenty, plenty of radiation. And here's our GOES proton flux to show you now, we never made it into a space weather uh, situation, an S1 solar storm, but we did have a polar cap absorption event for several hours yesterday, which has subsided. That's good news. 
meaning that a lot of these flares were probably not directly earth-facing, or the coronal mass ejections that were emitted were probably not headed directly towards Earth. We will have more information about where they're headed shortly. So in quick summary, yesterday we had an X 1.2 solar flare that looked like it hit Earth directly, created a polar cap absorption event. Since then, we started the day out with an M 5.61 event that peaked around 3.30 UTC time, about 8.30 last night. That was followed by this M 1.2 here, peaking at around 7.45 UTC time, or about 12.45 last night, quickly followed by the X 2.7 solar flare that peaked at 8.19 UTC time, or about 1.19 last night while we were sleeping central time, followed by the M 7.5 solar flare, it peaked at around 11.20 UTC time, or about 5.20 this morning, followed by the flare that we just had, the M4.6 solar flare, that peaked at around 1800 or 1 p.m. God bless you and yours, folks. Maybe the most active day we've seen on the sun will ever, definitely, in some time. Please share our video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World. All I can say is, wow.